lot of snow falls the week of Easter. How about this? Make a huge Easter bunny snow sculpture. Oh my goodness, that is very cute. Job well done there. This photo comes from some of our viewers in North Ogden, Cami Stanger and Amy and Adam Liscombe there. Very impressive works of art. Wow. They have the basket filled with eggs. I know, I'm trying really to fun. look. That looks like a real basket. This I is, think it is so impressive. You know, I can't even make a bad regular snowman, but being able to do that, snow that's bunny some skill, yes, for <laughs> sure. Now we have a lot of snow that has come down over the last couple of days. Snowbird. 67 inches of snow. Park City Canyons close to 50, 45 inches. Powder Mountain, Logan, 43 inches in some areas. Bountiful Bench, about 30 inches. Sugar House, West Jordan, about two feet, foot and a half. And then for Springville, 15 inches. For the Wasatch Front tonight, cold and the storm is clearing. Tomorrow, chilly start and it will be dry, but we still could maybe have a few slick areas. But throughout the day tomorrow, our sunshine is going to continue to help melt any snow and ice and then temperatures are on the rise. So here across northern Utah right now, we do have mostly clear conditions. That is the sun that you're seeing in the sky for the first time in what feels like forever, right? So our storm right now, a few clouds and areas of sprinkles and flurries into eastern Utah. By 10 o'clock tonight, we're going to be about 25 to 30 for Provo, Salt Lake, Ogden, Logan, mid 20s as you get ready for bed. The Cache Valley tomorrow morning, you're going to be in the teens close to zero for Evanston tomorrow morning in Bryce Canyon about 20 degrees for Price and Vernal tomorrow morning Park City single digits as you wake up and then throughout the day tomorrow temperatures rising into the 40s for much of the state forecast at a glance for tomorrow low 40s for Salt Lake Ogden and Provo mid 40s there for Central and Southwest Utah St. George close to 60 Richfield 47 Cedar 49 and then for tomorrow across eastern Utah, Moab 55, price 45, Vernal 40. Chance of precipitation pretty dry through much of our seven day forecast, although we could maybe see a few showers returning towards the end of our seven day. Provo, same thing. You're going to have a dry Easter weekend. That is great news for travel conditions. St. George, you're actually going to be heating up quite a bit. You're going to be close to 90 degrees heading into next week. So 63 tomorrow, 71 on Friday, 75 on Saturday into the 80s for Easter Sunday next week, close to 90 degrees. So we're going to have things starting to really get tough in some slot canyons potentially next week for southern Utah. For us here in Salt Lake with our warm up, not as much of a concern for flooding just because it's going to be a pretty gradual warm up and then we're going to pop into the 70s on Monday potentially, but then we're going to cool back down. So it's really not that big of a concern. Plus we look at our temperature outlook for days 8 to 14, the 13th of April through the 19th back below average. So if you're really stressing about these warmer temps, it's really the 80s and 90s that we're going to get more concerned about for flooding. But this is going to help our low elevation snow melt. OK, so then after our seven day forecast during week two, this will again be the 13th of April through the 19th, potentially more above average precipitation returning. So we could see some more wet weather on the way. And for tomorrow, 43, we've got good air quality the next couple of days. Easter Sunday, looking nice, mid 60s, partly cloudy. And then, yes, we will have a warm up on Monday. Take advantage of that. And then overnight temperatures will be on the rise. So we'll have some mild mornings next week, close to 50 degrees.